How you doing everybody? Welcome back to Stand Focus for Jesus. Or should I say Stand Focus for Kelson? I didn't know I pointed people toward myself, but <laughs> that, that was good. That was a good one, Daryl. That was a good one. <laughs> but uh, I'm just sitting here enjoying my day um, on the job, exchanging a vehicle. I'm in a 2017 Volkswagen Passat car brand new. It had 67 miles on it. Um, came down in a um, 2018 Volkswagen Atlas, the big one. It was um, it was pretty nice. I mean, I've driven it before, but um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, you know, I made my video about Daryl channel, whose channel is Brother Daryl. And I knew that he was gonna make a response video that was already expected, so I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about the things that he has said. I'm not, um, I mean, I'm worried, about, I'm worried a little bit, not the way that you think. I'm worried because he continues to bear false, false witness. Um, continues to say things that are not, are not true about people. And to all of his followers and also to Dara, if you're watching this video, I don't know what's going through either or none of y'all minds, but I hope you do know that you will give an account for the things that you have, have said. In the same way, I will give an account for the things that I have said, rather they be good or bad. So when you're 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 bearing witness against uh, against somebody or for somebody even for somebody you might want to make sure that what you're saying is true and Daryl has bared so much false witness it's ridiculous y'all excuse me I'm driving um it's ridiculous Now, this is the way it should be handled right here. If you're going to fairly compare, hold on just a second. Okay. I'm driving, so I got to pay attention. That's more important. <laughs> Um, if you're going to fairly compare uh, me and say that I'm giving giving uh, false prophecies because I don't believe the earth is is flat, then you need to check my 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 at least check my track record as far as my teachings and stuff, and compare it to Daryl's teachings because I didn't know that Daryl he had been teaching or on YouTube for you know six seven years. And so I had to go back and look some stuff up and come across some things. And there are things way back in the past where Daryl had been proven wrong on his foretelling. I'm not gonna call it prophecy because he wouldn't say that he was giving a prophecy. But when you're, you're studying a future event, you're prophesying, but I guess we're just all stupid and don't know what prophecy is. Um, there are videos back in the day, four years ago, where this guy, he gave false prophecies. And the thing is, majority of you that are supporting him, you're not doing your research. <laughs> you can't be, because the videos are still up. The videos, are, the videos are still up on his channel. So you can go and look the videos up and see that he gave a prophecy and hear his very words out of his own mouth and that it didn't come to pass. And we're not talking about one, two, three, four, five. We're talking about multiple, multiple things. Multiple things that were said that didn't come to pass over and 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 over again. So it really shows the spirit that majority of you who continue to support him are operating in 
when you can go look at the physical evidence and the words out of his own mouth, like President Trump was going to be assassinated during the inauguration, um, setting multiple dates for the rapture, and then turning around and saying, I never set a date, but then the very words out of your mouth came out, you said it was going to happen on this date. <laughs> the videos are up there. <laughs> But y'all continue to attack me like I lied on him or something. That really showed the spirit that y'all are operating in. For you to sit here and continue to support, support somebody when the physical evidence is right there in front of your face. Which shows that God has blinded many of you and given you over to the strong delusion already. When the truth can be right there in front of your face the very words can come out of their mouth in the in the context in the context of what they're talking about and then you still continue to support him instead of admonishing him it also shows that many of you don't really love him because if you truly loved him then you wouldn't continue to continue to support him in his madness you would be doing the same thing that i'm doing now many of you will probably say that i'm speaking hate toward him and that i hate him that, that that's far as from the truth I love him. I love him as a, as a as a physical a physical brother. I can't call him a brother in Christ anymore because his his fruit is showing otherwise. But that's my decision. If you want to continue calling him a brother in Christ or whatever, that's between you and God. You're going to give an account just like I'm going to give an account. So if you're going to compare um, me to him or spirit versus spirit, I should say then just make sure you're doing it righteously. That's the only thing I ask. If you're going to judge me, judge me righteously. If you're going to judge Daryl, judge him righteously. But y'all are not doing that. You're following man and you're not following the spirit because the majority of you don't even have the spirit in the first place. To even discern um, right from wrong. When a person can say these uh, these words out of their mouth, that you can go watch the videos, multiple videos, and then you still support them in their folly. That's how that's how we do now. Huh? I also want to address this right here because you know people come back to me and they're, they're telling me things that are being said about me or whatever. I, I already know what's up. And some of the things that, one of the things that I see that are being consistently said about me, and I, I find it, I find it is, is interesting, really, is that I'm, I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. Yeah, he, that, that brother right there is stubborn. Yeah, you, you're right, I am stubborn. I'm stubborn to the truth. I'm stubborn against false doctrine. And it's interesting that, well, if I if if I is I, if I be stubborn to the truth and stubborn against false doctrine, then I guess I'm guilty. I'm, I'm guilty. I don't apologize for standing against false doctrine. I don't apologize for being stubborn in the truth. I guess you could say that Jesus was stubborn too because he wouldn't give in to the uh, the uh, the leaven of the Pharisees, their false doctrine and stuff. Did Jesus give in to false doctrine? Did Jesus give in to the hate that was um, being put put toward him? Nope, he was stubborn. So you can look at it from, look at it from both ways. But that's that's something that I consistently see that people are, people keep on saying he's stubborn. He's stubborn. He's stubborn. Stubborn about what? Stubborn because I I won't believe in a flat Earth. <laughs> okay, I told you before. If you don't believe, um, if you believe round Earth, that's between you and God. If you believe in a flat Earth. That's between you and God. If you come to this channel, guess what? You know what you're going to get. So let me ask you this: What would you rather have me do? Would you rather have? Would you rather me to be uh, fake and hide how I really, that what I really, what I really believe? Would you rather me be manipulative with my words, or would you rather me be upfront and tell you what I believe and what I don't believe? So then you can decide if you're going to continue to listen to me. But majority of you who come against me, you still listen to my channel. Why, why is that? If I'm so stubborn, 
if I continue to give uh, false doctrine and false teachings, then why in the hell do you keep on listening to me? Because the Bible tells you to stay away from false teachings, false doctrines and stuff. Stop listening to me. Obey the Bible. Obey Jesus. Obey the Spirit. <laughs> so even in that, y'all are exposing yourselves for who you really are. Because you're saying these things about me, but you keep on listening to my videos. That makes absolutely, absolutely no sense. Are you, are you a teacher? Are you, are you studying your enemy? Are you, are you, are you on the battlefield? Are you doing recon? Because <laughs> the other case, you need to be making videos. You, you need to be putting videos out there exposing the false doctrine that I'm teaching. The only thing that y'all can bring up is that I don't believe in flat earth. <laughs> That's the only thing you can really, that you really bring up. I'm stubborn because I don't believe in a flat earth. What about the rest of my doctrine? There should be, there should be a consistency, consistency of me giving false doctrine. Now, if you compare Daryl's uh, teachings overall, his, his complete body of work, which is what we're supposed to do. I don't call um, Daryl out because he believes in flat earth. It's a multitude of things over the years. I've been watching him. I've been, I've been having my eye on him. God told me to, to watch out because there were things going on. But if you compare, if you compare his body of work and his um, things that he has said to my body of work and things that I have said, who has given more false, false uh, things? I don't want to call it prophecy because then you're gonna say, oh, he wasn't prophesying. Whatever. But I'll give y'all the benefit of the doubt. Um, if you compare it to his things that he has said, and rather they be true or false to the things that I have said, and rather they be true or false, the record speaks for itself. Now, let me ask you this. How many false things does a person have to be, excuse me, how many false things does a person have to say that don't happen before they're considered a false person that tells things that don't come to pass <laughs> how many is it is it is it five i i give them i give them grace and say i give them grace and give them 10 10 things I, just being gracious yeah he said 10 things they didn't come to pass but you know he's still legit i still believe he's legit i give i give him that 10 things right but you can go down his track record going back and going through his videos and it would be more than 10 it would be more than 15 it would be more than 20 so I mean how many times does a person have to say something and it ends up being a lie for them to be considered a liar and we're talking about somebody continuing in something because we know the Bible teaches we ain't talking about it if you 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 told a lie, you know, you got caught up or whatever, you you know, then you told a lie or whatever and um then you repented for it and you moved on. We ain't talking about that because we know that we all make mistakes and stuff and you know all, all these things. But the Bible is talking about a continual, continual sin. That's what it's talking about. When a person professes to be a believer, but they continue in the same action that is contrary to um what they are claiming. So again, I ask you, how many times does a person have to say something that is not true before they are considered a false prophet or a liar? A straight up, a straight up liar. You tell me. Somebody, somebody asked me to answer me that question. Please do. Because I'm still trying to figure it out. Because, you know, obviously I, we just don't know when a person can say something over and over and over and over and over again and it doesn't come to pass or it doesn't happen and then people are still supporting them which shows the heart of the very people that are following this person the only thing y'all really say oh he's stubborn he's stubborn he's stubborn he's stubborn he's stubborn why y'all not calling me out as a false prophet a false teacher oh but you would because i don't believe in flat earth okay i don't I don't believe in flat earth. And I said, thus said the Lord. So why why you continue to argue, argue about it? At the end of the day, we'll find out who was real 
And who was fake, right? That's what I've told you all the time. I don't want to argue. I don't want to argue about it. So when you continue to try to force somebody to argue about something they're telling you that they don't want to argue about, even when they don't agree with what you're saying, then it shows that you're this shows your spirit that you're trying to purposely stir some stuff up and start some stuff. Which is exactly what he's doing because the only thing he's bringing up is about flat earth. He's does say the Lord because majority of the people that listen to Daryl, they believe in flat earth. Not all of them, but the majority of them believe that the earth is flat. So he's bringing up that point to rile them up to get their pitchforks to come out and lynch me. And this is what's going on. When I sat right there and said, I don't want to, you know, over and over again, I, I said it in, to my, in my inbox, I said to many people, I avoided it. I avoided the topic because I knew where it was going and I'm trying to live at peace as much as possible with all men as the Bible says. But when a person continues to uh, poke and prod, eventually you're going to get bit. So you want to talk about flat earth or whatever, you want to bring it up, y'all brought that on yourself. <laughs> you brought it on yourself. So guess what? It's garbage. It's straight from the pits of hell. If you don't like it, guess what? It is what it is. Shut the video off. Stop watching this channel. It's It's simple. It's simple. If you don't like what I say, if you don't like what I bring, if you don't like the way I say things, shut the video off and stop watching. I'm not going to fake the funk and be somebody that I'm not. This is who I am. I'm going to get in your face. I'm going to tell it like it is. You know why? Because Jesus kept it real with me. So I'm going to keep it real with you. Oh, his, his tone of voice. Because I speak with power and authority? Stop the madness. Stop the madness. But um, my phone's messing up as you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this video down. But I don't wanna argue about flat earth. I I, I, I try to avoid it. I said my piece, I left it alone. But y'all keep on um keep on poking and prodding. You you're gonna get bit. And you get you getting bit. You probably wouldn't see it as you're getting bit, but I mean, it is what it is. But my spiritual track record speaks for itself. I got over 700 videos you can go go look at and and just see my growth and how the, the Lord has grown me over time. Over the time span I've been on, on YouTube and stuff. You can go back and see the growth. Um, and also see the prophecies that the Lord has given me to speak and to declare. And you see the videos, I'm giving you the evidence. It's not like I'm just sitting there speaking, I'm showing you on the screen. <laughs> I'm sitting there showing you on the screen, so I'm telling you to do the same thing. I'm being consistent in who I am in Christ. I'm asking you to, I'm asking you to do the same thing when it comes to Daryl. Go look at the evidence. Go look at his own video, go look at his own words. But majority of you are not gonna do that. Because you don't want to, you don't want to be wrong. Because you're walking in pride yourself. And if you find out that you've been supporting Dara and Dara has been in the wrong, that means that you're in the wrong and you've been accountable too. And you don't want to be accountable. So that that's what's going on. But I have no hate, no animosity to anybody that um, that um, that is speaking the things that they are speaking that are not true. I still love y'all. And y'all can continue to talk bad about me. You can continue to say that I'm stubborn. I continue to be stubborn in the truth. <laughs> but I but I will not be be uh, loose in lies. I won't. I won't. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. God bless each and every one of you in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you too, Daryl. <laughs> um, God bless you and your family. I pray the best for you. I pray you come out that, that slumber. You will probably say the same thing, but you're praying the same thing for me. It is it is what it is. My spiritual track record speaks for itself, and, and yours speaks for itself too. There's no reason to argue about it. Um, but yeah, I'm out. <laughs>